<laughs> the battle has just begun! Hello! Welcome to the Everybody uh, 60 Show! This is, uh, uh, week five, I think. Judging on this battle number five, right? Uh, the humping monkey is ready, by the way. I need to share this with you. Um, there. The humping monkey is, is ready for you, Mariner. He's ready! I have drank, like, four cups of coffee, and I'm fucking, like, done with life. <laughs> uh, by the way, our, uh, opponent for week five. It is week five, right? Let's check the thing. Yeah, nobody, wow, nobody's done week five except for, like, one guy. Huh. Interesting, everyone's running a little wait, late, bleh, 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 bleh. late, a little late this week. Um, my week five opponent is going to be really fucking tough. Uh, he has some very, 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 very powerful Pokemon. Um, also, my team in general can't deal with bulky water types, like, at all. I don't have any grass type, I don't, I, like, I have very, very few water resist. Conkleder is, like, a pseudo water resist with assault vest and guts. Um, as you see, I'm running sheer force. Uh, this is, uh, to deal more damage to Landorus T with Ice Punch and to deal more damage, uh, to Heracross with Fire Punch. It is a guaranteed one-hit KO, uh, and I can take a close combat. Um, th this team is shaky at best. I've I've spent a lot of hours working on this, but I'm not as confident with this team as I was uh, in last week's team. Just because um, I don't know, dude. I'm 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 trying to pull off the Zygarde again, uh, the the Coil Dragon Tail Substitute Earthquake, because um, depending on what he brings, I could like set up and sweep pretty hard with his team because Zygarde is a very unique Pokemon in that it can set up for free against Ferrothorn um, and it can beat Mega Deonce obviously uh, it's max special defense so once I have a coil up and a sub like you know Earthquake's gonna kill uh, it's you know it's not gonna kill Lando T by any means but Lando T, if I have a bunch of coils up, Lando T can't really scratch me, so that's going to be nice. He has a lot of physical attackers, so having this monster defense Pokemon uh, to set up with is going to be nice. Um, a lot of a lot is riding on this guy. Like um, Gligar is probably the safer option, um, but then Ferrothorn is a little bit stronger, and I can't afford to switch in, like, any of my Pokemon against Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn, uh, will do shitloads to Rotom Wash. Pretty sure it Oko's with Gyro Ball, um, a uh, Mega Pidgeot, who, by the way, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about Mega Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot, uh, puts in a ton of work against his team, depending on whether Heracross is Scarfed, or if Magnezone is Scarfed. If either of, if both of them are scarfed, I'm going to be uh, in trouble for sure. Um, Magnezone, uh, Magnezone, I'm um, not too worried about Magnezone uh, because Zygarde sets up on Magnezone uh, like forever unless he is a genius and is running Hidden Power Ice, but then Jirachi uh, can resist it. But then again, like he can't resist it well, like the electric attacks are going to hit hard, so we're going to have to hope, we're going to have to scout for the HP ice, but if he's running Hidden Power Fire, if he's running Scarf, um, I'm going to be fine. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to run Scarf to deal with Mega Pidgeot. Uh, Magnezone is, like, pretty much everything on his team is a threat, uh, so, <laughs> like, there is no one Pokemon I'm really not worried about. Like, Vileplume, I guess, is my least, uh, least of my problems, maybe Blastoise. Uh, Zygarde can set up on Umbreon, uh, so I can, Zygarde can set up on Magnezone, Ferrothorn, Umbreon, um, Reuniclus to an extent, um, not really, like, he's not, no, he's not gonna set up on Reuniclus, but, like, uh, Reuniclus is gonna be hard-pressed to beat me once I have a sub up and a coil, 
uh, so I can beat Runiclus, but I can potentially with enough coils and substitutes to hide behind, I can beat his whole team with just Zygarde. That's why Zygarde is there. Uh, also to deal with Magnezone and Ferrothorn, mostly Ferrothorn. Mega Deonce sweeps my team um, pretty fucking effortlessly. Uh, and for this, uh, Mega Pidgeot, as I uh, mentioned briefly a minute ago, Hidden Power Steel. Let's look at the calcs, shall we? Pokemon, what the fuck am I? <laughs> uh, I, can't, I can't spell, I can't spell Pidgeot, guys. It's, uh, here we go. We got Mega Pidgeot versus fucking, oh, the Hurricane does a fuckload to Landris T. Uh, which is nice. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use that at some point. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot in general can revenge kill Landorus. Uh, it can kill Ferrothorn with Heat Wave. It can kill Magnezone with Heat Wave. It's not a guaranteed Oko though. Um, neither is it a guaranteed Oko with Ferrothorn. Um, his Ferrothorn is just that good, really. Um, well, it, be it beats Heracross, obviously, but if he's Scarf Heracross or not is something I'm going to have to figure out, because if he's Scarf, um, yeah, but if he's Banded, that's also a problem, so it's a real pick-your-poison situation, and we're going to have to very carefully scout his team, because a lot of my Pokemon can't afford to take hits uh, for very long, not even Rotom Wash, like, his team is just that devastatingly effective. Uh, well, let me finish my thought here. Um, I'm kind of fucking weird right now because I'm tweaking out and I've been waiting for this fucker for an hour and now he's waiting on me because I'm doing my video bit. Um, but you know, fucking it's worth it. It's fair. Uh, so let's, l let's pull up Deonce here. Deonce is a very interesting beast because... Uh, Mega Pidgeot can't switch in at all. Diamond Storm, like, kills two Pidgeots, like, two Mega Pidgeots, but, um, fucking add Hidden Power Steel here, which is a move I never thought I would use in my life. Uh... <laughs> uh. Okay, I, I never thought, I never thought... I would ever use Hidden Power Steel, but Hidden Power Steel, as you can see, is a guaranteed Oko with Modest and also with Timid, which I actually need Timid to outrun the uh, Mega Deonce. Uh, now, if his Mega Deonce is going to be a Rock Polish set, I am super fucked, basically. <laughs> like, the only thing I have for that is my special defensive Pivot Jirachi. And he's got Earth Power, and Earth Power is, like, a guaranteed two-hit KO, so... I don't know, like, but if he's running Modest, you know, it's gonna do more damage, I, the Jirachi can take less damage, it's, it's really fucking rough. I would really like to, uh, I almost want to run Gligar and, uh, uh, Wish Protect Jirachi, um, but at the same time... Uh, then Ferrothorn, and is, you know, like, I guess Conqueror can fight Ferrothorn, but then he's going to take a lot of recoil, and then uh, Ferroth, then Conk can't beat, um, um, Heracross and Landorus T reliably. Uh, there are just so many factors, and I'm going to spend a lot of time explaining it. <laughs> I'm gonna say the dancing, the humping monkey cares. Oh, can't spell. Can't spell. Okay. <clears throat> Show. Let's see. Oh, yeah, hidden power steel beats Mega Pidgeot. Um, at plus zero, and that's really, 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 really important. Uh, 
because uh, damn, Omega DNC is a problem. I also don't think he's going to expect Hidden Power to steal unless he is a fucking genius man and like scouts for it. If he does that, then I am also fucked. So, like, there are, there are many ways to be uh, fucked here <coughs> in, um, in a matter of speaking. But Mega Pidgeot <coughs> uh, beats a lot of his fucking Pokemon, and that is important. That's really important. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring Reuniclus, and on that end, let's uh, talk about Malamar, who, um, I, Malamar is going to be nice, because he's going to get Trick Room up for Conkeldur, who, who, <coughs> who Conkeldur can uh, pretty much sweep his team. Let's look at uh, Straptor here. Um, oops, I'm going to look at Conkeldur. This is, sorry, this is going to take forever, but in order to, like, really explain myself, it is going to take a long time. Um, but, uh, yeah, see, Ice Punch with Guts is almost Oko. Change that shit to, to Sheer Force, and we're talking definite Oko, and that that is the same result with fi uh, with Fire Punch on uh, Heracross. So uh, potentially sweeping and Trick Room here. Uh, also, um, Malamar ha is is kind of weird because he can kind of get a little sweep going with his team. Um, beats uh, Reuniclus. Not in one shot, surely, but, like, I can set up a superpower and then knock off, and that will kill. Um, beats Umbreon. Umbreon can predict the switch and get a status on it and then protect stall, but he's going to have to take one superpower, and if he want, he's not going to be able to wish uh, safely. Beats Staraptor in Trick Room, like, really convincingly, I think. Um... If I have Stealth Rocks up, uh, knock off a plus zero, that's going to kill. Um, it can be the Therathorn, but again, that's kind of fucky, uh, because then I'm going to take a shitload of recoil, and that's kind of what Zygarde is there for, to, to fuck up Therathorn, which uh, I'm, hopeful, I'm hoping he's not going to predict that set or see it coming, or, uh, you know, be. I'm hoping he's not prepared for that, as I'm hoping he's not prepared for the zany ass hidden power steel that I'm pulling out of my ass. You can kind of tell how desperate this team is um, in the fact that I'm using Malamar. Malamar is not a Pokemon I want to use uh, in general, like, and I know that kind of goes against everything I stand for because I love Malamar and I'm the biggest Malamar uh, person like in the world. But I'd rather use a higher tier Pokemon who can more reliably deal with his team. But the matter of the fact is, I don't have much to deal with his team. Um, my draft picks are showing pretty fucking uh, uh, thin right here because I'm 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 being basically forced to use Malamar, who can take one neutral hit and not die. Anything super effective is definitely going to kill him. Um, if he has a super power up, he can take one U-turn, even from Landorus T, unless he's, like, Choice Bandit or something. Um, which, um, I was looking at his team. If he brings Swampert for rocks and has banded Lando T, um, that is gonna be really fucking cool for him. Uh, not cool for me. That's probably what I would do. Uh, just cause, you know, I have, like, a thing for banded Lando T, cause it's so ridiculously funny. Um... So yeah, Malamar uh, uh, beats Straptor, beats Heracross, beats Umbreon, beats Magnezone, beats Ferrothorn, and that's a lot of his team. Uh, can beat uh, Reuniclus as well. So um, yeah, and it is a safe switch into Reuniclus, who I don't think can learn Signal Beam. Um, <sighs> Let's check that shit out here. Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Pretty fucking sure. Also, sorry for the weird noises I make when I'm not talking. I have, like, weird breathing noises, probably, because I, I I might have hearing damage. I don't fucking know. I've never been really tested lately. But, like, when I'm not talking and I, I'm, like, listening back to my voice, I'm like, ah, 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 and I'm like, oh, God, that sounds fucking bad. Uh, but anyway, 
Anyway, let's look at Reuniclus here. Can he get Signal Beam? He probably can. Yeah, he definitely can. So actually, uh, Malamar is not nearly as safe as I would have liked. Um, but uh, if he's running Calm Mindset, he's either going to run Signal Beam or he is going to run um, fucking um, <clears throat> Focus Blast or even Hidden Power of Fire. Hidden Power of Fire is, is my favorite way to run, run Reuniclus, but then again, I like Offensive, Trick Room, Life Orb, Reuniclus. So that's like the only way to go for me. He's definitely an advocate for the Defensive Calm Mind variant, which typically does not run Signal Beam, but for my team's sake, uh, yeah. You know, get that shit in there. It's my only bug weakness, but it's a critical one. I have three fairy weaknesses, but I have some effective uh, ways to beat Deonce uh, Mega, which is Hydro Pump, uh, which oddly can has a chance to Oko, um, which is strange. Uh, Hidden Power Steel, which is a guaranteed Oko, which is fucking beautiful. Uh, by the way, uh, Deonce is very weird because... When it Mega Evolves, it loses 40 defense in each, uh, so it loses 40 special defense and regular defense, so if he doesn't Mega straight away, he's going to be able to live one, um, and I'm not really sure um, if that would change the matchup or not. Um, I think it would still be kind of a stalemate, because I think his uh, Diamond Storm would be weaker. Uh, so I would definitely take one instead of being, like, super O-code. Uh, let's look at that real quick. My poor opponent. My poor opponent! Uh, I do this to everybody. <laughs> I don't know if you fucking noticed. Uh, but yeah, I overanalyze, uh, to the maximum and just do calcs for, like, uh, 20 minutes before the match and talk to myself. Um, oh, we want, we want, uh... Regular Deonce, actually. Uh, uber defensive... Uber offensive, actually. Okay, so I have a chance... Uh, I can, I'm can. i guaranteed to live one, so it's still a fucking uh, super stalemate. And uh, a really, really horrible, glaring weakness in this setup is I have no defog. I don't have Gligar. Once he gets Stealth Rocks up, they're fucking here to stay. I don't have Roost either, because I need to run Hidden Power Steel. And I need to run U-Turn so I can Mega safely. Uh, so it's 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 going to be fucky. It's going to be very fucky. Uh, if if, he's, if he knows, if, if he somehow is a fucking super genius, knows I have Hidden Power Steel, doesn't Mega up straight away, which of course he's going to. Like, he's, he's human. You you push that mega button as fast as you can with Mega Deonce because he sweeps my team like a motherfucker. So I'm not really concerned about that. But outside possibility, he suspects Hidden Power Steel on on uh, Mega Pidgeot. He could stay in there, kill me with a Diamond Storm if I have Stealth Rock damage, which I most likely will because I think there is a 99% chance he's going to lead with that fucking Land OT and set up Stealth Rocks and... Um, there is very fucking little I can do about that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to make my Pidgeot switch-ins count, and that's going to be really rough. But then again, um, Hidden Power Steel still is going to do a fuckload, even to regular. <clears throat> it's... oh, it can still Oko. Uh, but it's a 12.5 chance. 12.5 percent chance so it's gonna do a fuckload uh so if he has stealth work damage i could kill him too so i guess it, it, it definitely is a stalemate situation okay i've spent enough time obsessing over pidgeot and deonce uh talked about conkler uh talked about jirachi's basic uh pivot uh special defense jirachi he's probably wondering where i am uh <clears throat> oh he has to wait uh no that's striking bolt okay so um Rotom Wash, uh, a fucking lot is weighing down on Rotom Wash's shoulders here, on his uh, his electric watery washing machine shoulders. Rotom Wash is interesting because he's the the best lead, the best lead possible, because um, he's definitely going to lead with Lando, 
And if he doesn't bring Umbreon, then um, I can burn his whole team. I can just will o spam, which is basically how I beat Gargoflop. Um, yes, so if he brings Umbreon, I'm feeling he will. Um, then will o is going to be a lot less effective, but I also have Hydro Pump uh, to hit uh, Landorus, so that is, you know, I'm not going to fucking cry about that. Uh, we talked about Zygarde, talked about Malamar, pretty much talked about everybody. Uh, as I said like 10 minutes ago, really wish I could run Wish and Protect. Um, this is this is a problem, like, um, this is really something, um, this is showing um, the maximum potential of my team drafts right now. Um, because I'm, I have like half my team is, uh, uh, our Pokemon that I'm feeling need to have five moves instead of four. And that just is showing weakness, really like weakness in my draft picks. Uh, cause I'm, I'm trying to stretch them as fucking far as they can go. Um, and it's either going to work or it's not going to work. And it's, it's a really devastatingly, uh, real 50-50 shot here. Uh, I have been very lucky, <laughs> very lucky with my matches so far. Uh, oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say <laughs> uh, it's, it's a It's a running joke to me. I don't know if he fucking gets it. Also, um, this guy here, Mariner, has his own channel. Um, I never really look at it. I know that he comments on Gargoflops videos all the fucking time, so he definitely has a channel, but I've never actually looked at his videos. Uh, so, definitely gonna link his channel in the description. Um, and, yeah, this is fucking... Uh, this is fucking... Uh, <clears throat> this is fucking... This is fucking... Um, why don't I look at my team builder in this one instead and make sure it's the same? I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be the same because, oh, it's not the same. Well, fuck. <laughs> wow. It's very, very, very fortunate I actually compared that shit because it's not the same. Um, it, <laughs> I made some changes since, and if I had accepted... Without checking, um, I would be fucking devastated. So let's uh, put that one over here. And this is the actual showdown we're going to use. I'm fucking like s scattered, harebrained as shit right now. I'm not even looking at the right showdown server. Uh, okay, so that's the same. That's good. Body Slam is going to be nice to paralyze. His Scarf Heracross, or his Scarf Landers T, or just Landers T in general. Uh, or Straptor, for that matter. Uh, fucking totally wrecked Straptor. Uh, but I was I was using this team, and I was, I was in of the OU ladder, and I was getting some mixed results. Uh, I was either, like, winning really well or not at all. And it was uh, a little disheartening. But, I mean, this team is meant to beat his team, so... You gotta take that into account as well. So this is adamant, uh, careful, bold, timid, hidden power seal is there. Um, just being as fucking careful as possible, checking this shit out. Fuck me, I've been obsessing about this team for 24, going on 25 fucking minutes. Um, it's time. It's fucking time. It's fucking, 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 fuck, fuck time. It's fuck time. Let's have a mouthful of muffin, as per tradition. Because I am a fat ass, and I have to have my muffin and coffee. Because it's morning over here. My opponent lives in Greece. So, it's like 8.30 for him um, at night. Other side of the fucking world. Um, that's what's nice about this Pika League. One of the things. One of the things that's nice. Okay. Okay. Let's fucking do this. Mm. 
Thanks for waiting. Sorry for making weird breathing noises. <laughs> I really think I do have hearing damage. Um, um, when I was a little kid, I had a lot of ear infections. So <laughs> I think my uh, ears are a little fucked up. Um, thanks for waitings. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Preemptive fuck me's. Hopefully that's not... That is not, that's not, <laughs> that is not a fucking, uh, bad omen here. Man, I'm fucking wide as fuck. Alright, we'll look at the team builder one more time, because I'm fucking OCD as fuck, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Challenge was cancelled? Fuck. Uh, here we go. Uh, turn him good. I'm going to look it up again. It's fucking, what the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Validate. That, oh, you can validate um, for OU. That's a button now. So that's cool. Um, all right. This is it. This is fucking it. He, he did bring Swampert. Okay. Very, very smart. Very smart. Surprised about the vile plume. But I guess that's for Rotom Wash. Um, God, didn't bring Deontay at all. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Basically, basically, fuck. Uh, so, Mega Pidgeot is going to have a, a field day with a Swampert uh, with half his team. Basically, no Deontay. Whoa. 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 Made the right picks because I have fucking fairy weaknesses out the ass, dude. Uh, out the fucking ass. God. How did he not see that rock polish fucking, uh, like, beats my entire team? <laughs> oh my god. Um, obsessing like a motherfucker. Um, let me lower that little bar. It's gonna fucking make the video look weird, but well, well. Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Weird fucking breathing noises. Fuck me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking like um this is this is strange for me because Schwampert uh, want to lead with Pidgeot, honestly. Want to lead with Pidgeot. Um cuz the Swampert he's going to get it rocks. He's, like, I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know what his lander C could be. Well, I do, but, like, if he doesn't, if, 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 if he's not the rocks guy, then Bandit and Scarf is for sure. Um, maybe he's, like, as long as his hair cross isn't Scarfed, uh, should be okay. This is fucking weird. Weird with a beard, dude. Weird with a beard. Um. Fuck. Uh. God. Uh. Well, on Wash is the best lead. Uh. Oh, he doesn't have Ferrothorn. God, that was like the main thing I was setting up on uh, with Zygarde. So, I guess I can set up on Vileplume instead, though. It's just as effective. Um, and Umbreon. But man, Swampert fucks me up. Uh, he fucks me up very hard. Okay. Okay. 
Uh. <laughs> Yay, one guy. <laughs> oh God. Bless America. Mmm. Mmm. Coffee. Mmm. Um. He has three potential scarfers. Monkey dick is ready. It's ready, friends. It's ready, Freddy. Ready, Freddy. V spaghetti. <coughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Fiddle. Uh, by the way, Fiddlesticks is such an asshole character in League of Legends. I, I don't even play. I use. Well, I played Le League briefly, like three years ago, and then hated it because it turned my friends into assholes. Um. And then the league uh, craziness kind of wore off a little bit. And my friends are less assholes, or the ones that were more more assholes actually moved out of town. So that's that's good, uh, moderately good. Pidgeot, fuck! I want to lead with you so fucking bad, so fucking bad. Um, but it's it's uh, it's fun. it's rough, dude. It is rough. Now we have to lead with Rotom. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so um, we're looking at rocks on this guy, um, I guess. Or maybe he's just going to go for a knockoff or a U turn. Uh, yeah. God. <laughs> I really want a Volt Switch. <laughs> Volt Switch on a fucking ground type. Uh, This wild plume does actually fuck me up a little bit. Um, <sighs> stealth rocks really aren't that um, effective right now, so that, that's a thing. I'm gonna have to pump. Yeah, U turn is here. Life orb. Okay. Life orb is good to see. Good to see. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna miss that, but I'm not worried about it. I'm so not worried about it that it is super fucking fine. I'm gonna full switch here. God, he could, um, he could uh, foul play. He does. He foul plays, and that's gonna do a fuckload. Um, but uh, better than a toxic. Let's U turn now, as he stays the fuck in. Uh, he's not gonna, he's not gonna toxic. Is he gonna foul play again? Yeah. Let's sub. <clears throat> um, he's either gonna roar or he's gonna stealth rock right now. I'm thinking he might roar. Yeah, he did. So that's a thing. Um, uh, <laughs> Alomar is here. Should have gone fucking. Um, Should have gone a uh, dragon tail there. I think it beats roar. Um, but that's fine. I'll uh, set it up again. Okay, the stealth rocks are there. Uh. Hmm. Yep. Is it worth it to just stealth rock and let go right now? Um, I'm thinking it is. Because, <clears throat> um, oh, alright, cool. Very, very cool. Um, let's 
getting Iron Head going. Fuck. Okay. That's kind of cool, though. That is kind of cool because then I can uh, set up this guy. And we have this again. Okay, we have to um, we have to go for the dragon tail now. I do believe it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> this is that's actually really fucking huge. Now I can get a coil. <sighs> what is he gonna do to me though? Bigger drain? Nah, bruh. <clears throat> nah, not having that. Um, earthquake, I guess. God, that does nothing. Okay. Let's get another sub. Um, let's gonna switch out. Dude, I am so fucking fine with this. It is unbelievable. Um, I can get up another coil, because what is he gonna do? He can't roar, can he? I think he can roar, actually. Um. Ah. Uh, Crit. Okay. Well, at this point, I think Earthquake is going to be okay. It's okay. It is kind of okay. But if I can get his. Hold, 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 hold. Um, Dragon Tail? Dragon Tail. We want Dragon Tail. So that guy's gone. Um, that guy's gone. So I can burn shit now. So that's that's good. Zygarde is fucking dead though. Um, Zygarde still. A Zygarde can be fodder against Zangazone or just uh, fuck people up a little bit. So I need to actually save him. Nice. This is fucking good. This is fucking good. Bring on the burns. Please hit. Please. Fuck. Please. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Um, Alright, this is fucking good. Nice! Fuck yes! Thank you for that! Thank you so goddamn much! Ah, oh, that's fuck. that's beautiful. That is beautiful right there. <clears throat> Did you have time? Alright, that's awesome. That is awesome. You could have used Sludge Bomb and fucked me up immensely, but now I can do this. Alright, well, he's gone. It's a significant lead I have, and now that he's Life Orb, I know that he's fucking dead. Okay. That man is definitely, definitely fucking scarfed. Um, <clears throat> definitely fucking scarfed. Um, just right now. Oh, if he's Moxie, though. Fuck. Okay. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Moxie? Yeah, it's Moxie. We are gonna pray. We are gonna pray to, po to the Poke Gods. Oh, okay. Uh, 
could roar me out, you go for Scald. Goes for Scald, burns me. Uh, Heracross kind of fucks me up unless I Trick Room with Malamar. Trick Room with Malamar. Uh, win the game, actually. So. Uh. Does Malamar become my win condition? Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, that was good. That was a good staying in. That was good. Alright. This is uh, turning out nicely, but uh, one right move with Heracross, and I am fucking super done. Uh, let's go Fire Punch. Okay, I can force him to... God, this sucks though, because I think Moxie... My, Moxie Close Combat might be enough to just Oko Malamar. Melamar. Ah, fuck. That's it. That's the game. Good game. That's fucking it. Oh, well. Looks like Gligar was the smarter pick. Um... Gonna get swept. Oh, uh, after all of that, uh, I needed to. I needed to get Trick Room up safely. Um, uh, I need. I should have fought it against somebody. Map. Yeah, that's fucking rough. Ah, uh, that is rough. That is rough. Um, but we take that. We take those. I'm still one of the best uh, coaches with more, most wins. Uh, so that's fine. Um, yeah. But yeah, I knew. I knew that Heracross was a big threat. I knew. I knew of it. I I knew full well. Um, but Moxie, I didn't even. I should have looked more into Moxie. Uh, I don't think I really considered that. And that, like, if I had Gligar, that that was the game. If I had Gligar, I was preparing for Pokemon he didn't have, which um, is what happens when you lose in this. So afraid of Deonsi uh, and Ferrothorn for some reason, and they're just not there. Uh, Zygarde did a lot. Like, he did a lot. He took out a lot of Pokemon, and Rotom did a lot, but needed that extra defense, and I just didn't fucking bring it. Um, yeah, honestly, uh, I could have swapped out Jirachi. Uh, for Gligar and would have been best for both cases. Um, that's good. Alright, I'm not gonna. Okay, alright, that's a video. That is the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later, YouTube.